smoky dramatic eye I think this is a nice look for the evening or even going out partying or something like that so if you'd like to see how I achieve this look keep on watching so the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is apply our eyeshadow primer and I'm using Urban Decay Primer Potion and this will prevent my eyeshadow from creasing up and it will also help my eyeshadow to last longer throughout the day next I'm going to apply NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and this is just going to help my eyeshadow color to pop more and look more vibrant so I'm placing this in the inner corner of my eye and I'm also going to place this along the highest point of my brow bone. Next I'm just going to go ahead and use my finger to blend that out. Next I'm going to apply this frosty eyeshadow and it's a bluish um, greenish eyeshadow shade and this one is Tilt by MAC. To apply the eyeshadow I'm using an oval blender brush and I'm going to place this at the inner corner. You just want to pat that eyeshadow on. So when you pat on the eyeshadow, it's just going to help the eyeshadow color to be more pigmented. So next I'm going to apply NYX's Jumbo Pencil Black Bean. And I'm using my flat shader brush to apply this. And I'm just going to go ahead and just apply that onto my eyelids. And this is just going to act as a base for my eyeshadow. So you can pull this into the light blue eyeshadow as well. Now I'm going to take my 217 blending brush and start to blend that. So I'm just blending away the hard edges. I'm also blending that with the first eyeshadow color as well. So the next eyeshadow I'm going to apply is the Eyeshadow Club by MAC, which is a brownish eyeshadow with hints of green and blue in it. And I'm just going to go ahead and pat that on with the same brush. However, you want to make sure you clean off your brush first before you apply the eyeshadow. Okay, so now that I apply that eyeshadow, I'm just going to go ahead and blend as well. So just going to blend out the edges. And I'm using the same 217 brush to blend. Now I'm going to add some more color to this look. And I'm going to use the eyeshadow Red Brick by MAC. So it's like a reddish orange shade. I'm going to use my 217 brush to apply this as well and I'm just going to apply that in my crease and you want to take it all the way in to the inner corner next I'm going to use the eyeshadow sorcery by MAC which is like a purplish brown eyeshadow I'm also going to place that in the crease as well just going to go back with my 217 brush just to blend that out a little. So I just want to add some intensity to the eyes and I'm going to add um, a matte black eyeshadow to the outer corners. And I'm just using the tip of the brush, not too heavy handed either. And I'm going to take this all the way into the center, just like that. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend that. So you want to go ahead and blend out any hard edges. So you want to blend this until you feel comfortable with the way it looks. Okay guys, so now I'm going to go into my um, Beige 120 palette. And this one is the first edition and I'm going to grab this bright reddish orange shade eyeshadow right here. And I'm going to apply this on my 224 blending brush. So that's my big fluffy blending brush. And you just want to make sure you knock off any excess. And I'm going to place this above the crease. Try not to go too high up with this because you don't want to take it all the way up to the brow bone because that might look a little bit crazy. Okay, so for my highlight, I use this eyeshadow right here, which is a frosty champagne shade eyeshadow from my BH 120 palette. And I place it at the highest point of my brow bone. So I place it at the highest point of my brow bone just like that. However, I thought I was filming, but I wasn't. So I place it at the highest point of the brow bone and then I pulled it down into the red eyeshadow. And I'm just going to go back and use my 224 blending brush. And I'm just going to blend the red with the frosty champagne shade. Okay, so 
I'm going to go back into my 120 palette and I'm going to grab that same eyeshadow that I used for my highlight, which is that champagne shade eyeshadow. And I'm going to place this along my bottom lash line. So just like that. And I'm using a pencil brush to apply it. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply some loose pigment to the bottom lash line as well. And I'm using Blue Brown by MAC. And I'm placing it along the bottom lash line. So I'm just going to add some liner to this look and I'm using Black Track Fluid Line. So in my waterline, I use the NYX Jumbo Pencil Black Bean to line my waterline. And I'm just going to smudge that out a little bit because I want it to look nice and smoky along the bottom lash line. So I'm trying to give my lashes a smoky effect. And I'm using an angle brush to do this. And I'm going to go back into the pigment blue brown. And I'm just reapplying this along the bottom lash line. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply my falsies. And I'm wearing some pretty dramatic lashes. And these are number 62 by eyelashes. So I'm going to apply these off camera and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so now that the eyes are completed, um, prior to recording the video, I did my full face already. So if you guys want to see how I do my full face, I will post a link down below of another video. And you can also see how I do my contour and everything. So next I'm just going to go ahead and apply my blush. And I'm using a pinky purple shade blush. And I'm going to apply this on the apples of my cheeks. Okay, so next I'm going to apply this Mocha Shade Lipstick, and, I'm, and it's a matte lipstick, and I'm going to apply this on my lips. Okay, so I'm just going to add a little gloss to this, and this one is a sample gloss that I got in my Nikki 2 palette. And this, it's, uh, I don't even know what it's called. It's a very sheer coverage, so it's close to the lipstick color. have it the look is now complete i'll see you guys in the next video bye